Unions aren't wasting any time in getting the vote out. They're working to repeal Senate Bill 5, the law that limits bargaining rights for Ohio union workers. Nine News reporter Sayed Shabir spoke with citizens both for and against the bill and joins us now with the latest. Sayed? Well, Carol, Cincinnati AFL-CIO Labor Council officially kicked off its local campaign tonight to get voters out to the polls in November and repeal Senate Bill 5. More than 100 supporters gathered for tonight's rally at the local 265 Union Hall. Since the bill was passed, opponents collected more than 1.3 million protesting signatures. They hope to carry that momentum into coming months. Their focus now is getting people out to the polls. Meanwhile, supporters of the bill are doing the same. They say the key to keeping Senate Bill 5 on the books is educating voters on what the bill actually does. This would strip employees of their collective bargaining rights, which, which frankly just isn't true. Um, it, it certainly limits uh, you know, some of those subjects and takes away some of the power of unelected arbitrators. But you know, police and fire and, and you know, teachers and government employees, they're still able to unionize. They're still able to collectively bargain. There's been a severe overreach by this governor and the Senate and the uh, state reps um, in attacking working families and attacking the community. So uh, we're, we're confident that we'll repeal this legislation. Now those against Senate Bill 5 say they have 10,000 volunteers across the state that will be hitting the ground running. Supporters of the bill are teaming up with Americans for Prosperity and holding a town hall meeting later this month to help clear up what they call some of the spin the labor unions are using to gain support. We, of course, will be closely following the controversial bill as we approach the November election. Clyde? All right, say it. Thanks. Fire.